Hi, Nathan with Complete Water Solutions. Before we dive into talking about Taco Flow pumps and the really hard issues that we're gonna obtain, let's talk about the easiest thing that you'll be able to do right now. And that's hitting that subscribe and like button below. Help support this channel and support what we're doing by hitting that subscribe and like button. We really appreciate that. So anyways, today we're gonna to talk about Taco Flow pumps. And some of the common questions that we get is, hey, if we ordered a pump today, can it ship today? Can it ship tomorrow? We really need this, our system is down. And to be honest with you, no, 99% of the time we're not gonna be able to do that because these pumps are primarily built to order. And the reason being is because you can see up here, there's three different variations uh, just right here. But within these three different pumps that are up here that are on display, there's about six different ways I can get this pump, actually probably about nine different ways I can get that pump, nine different ways I can get this pump, and nine different ways I can get this pump. And with different mechanical seals, destaged, and everything else. And so, they are pretty much built to order and they're used in so many different applications. And while these two pumps right here might look pretty darn close, they are actually completely different internally. Uh, this one is an AS series pump, which means that it has stainless steel impellers, whereas this one's an SS series pump, which means that it has a Norel plastic impeller. So note to self, four to six week lead time, if it is gonna be an issue or this is a critical application, our recommendation is to carry a spare pump. Spare pumps can be purchased with or without a motor. If you're purchasing it without a motor, you're gonna get basically this red bearing frame all the way down to the wet end of the pump. So that is an option. You can also buy just the bearing frame as well. Couple of key things to take away is make sure you have your grease or your oil resort back to your manual to take a look at it, to see which one you should be utilizing within your pump. Before we dive into that, one thing that you can do outside of carrying oil on your system is to hit that like and subscribe button below. Guys, we wanna say thank you for supporting this channel real quickly. So if you're using a bearing frame that's got an oil sight gauge on it, like these two do here, uh, they're most likely gonna utilize Royal Purple Synfilm 68. So it's a 68 weight synthetic film. Uh, they recommend Royal Purple. That is what is actually listed out in the manual. And so we do carry that in stock. So if you need it, our contact information is in the link in the description below and you can get that. As far as the gear box goes on these where they have Zerk fittings, they may take a grease. Um, I believe within the Taco Flow pump manual, it will tell you to use a Lubriplate uh, EMB or EMD series uh, grease, bearing grease. Uh, a couple things on this is one, as they say, every 2000 hours of operation, you should be greasing or changing the oil out in your pump. Minimal two times a year on this bearing frame assembly and on that one, minimal one time a year. So just keep that in the, in the consideration. If you don't know how many hours uh, that your pump has ran, we would recommend uh, you know, taking the lesser of the two and just say, hey, every six months, I'm going to change the oil out or I'm going to grease the motor or pump or gearbox, I should say, uh, and go on from there. If you need help with your Taco Flow pump, feel free to give us a call. Again, our contact information is below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. It really helps and supports our channel and it helps us identify what you guys are liking, what's helpful. So thank you guys so much for supporting us. And as always, you have yourself a great day. And on behalf of everybody at Complete Water Solutions, we thank you for watching our videos.